Before you begin your college search, it is important for you to have an understanding of what you are eligible for and what you want out of your college experience. That's what the College Fit Finder is all about. You can use this handout to reflect on what you are looking for in a college. There are no right or wrong responses. This is an opportunity for you to be honest with yourself about what you know and don't know about what you might want in a college. The first page of the College Fit Finder provides an overview and purpose of the document, as well as a preview on how to get started. So let's dive into step one. Remember, this is your document, so feel free to make all the markings necessary to help you with your process. And so step one begins with helping you identify your current eligibility. Note that you will need to re refer to your transcript to plug in your GPA information and your transcript review to plug in your safety target and reach information. Your academic information is important to identify eligibility because eligibility is not optional. Think of eligibility as a college's minimum requirements to be considered. Colleges will not accept you if you do not meet the minimum requirements. And so colleges look at GPA differently, and so we ask that you indicate all of your current GPAs. Once you have done so, then you can check off all the institutions that you are eligible for. Please reach out to your CAP advisor if you have questions about the eligibility requirements for the colleges that you are interested in. Next, you will indicate your safety target and reach ranges. This is provided to you once you complete a transcript review with your CAP advisor. A safety school is a school that generally admits students with a GPA that is lower than yours. A target school for you is when your GPA falls within the GPA range of the students the school admits. And a REACH school is any school with an acceptance rate of 30% or below and generally admits students um, with a GPA that is higher than yours. The next thing you want to consider is the location of your future college. Are you willing to live at home and commute to school? Go to a college in Southern California? Go to a college anywhere in California? Or go to a college anywhere but California? You also want to consider the campus resources that are important to you and that your future college must have. Different campuses offer different kinds of support and activities, including programs for students of color, first generation students, faith based clubs, services for undocumented students, programs for LGBTQ students, tutoring, undergraduate research, intramural and varsity sports, the arts, etc. These activities can play an important role in helping you build your community and or your resume. Um, but just because one campus offers it, it doesn't mean that all colleges do. This space here allows you to indicate any other important factors not already mentioned. For example, you might want to consider graduation rates. The most affordable path to a degree is to graduate in four years. Sometimes a college can have a low cost, but if it also has low graduation rates, attending that college can become more expensive in the long run. Higher graduation rates can also signal better support in making sure that students graduate on time. So if that was something important to me, I would go ahead and list down graduation rates. Um, you might want to consider financial fit. So look at what percentage of students receive need-based financial aid. Need-based financial aid is determined by your family income and what they can afford. So low and middle income students should look for schools with good need-based aid. So if that was my situation, I would go ahead and put need-based aid. Um, look at what percentage of students receive merit-based financial aid. Merit-based aid is not determined by family income. Merit-based aid includes scholarships and other resources based on something you've accomplished, like having good grades or your involvement in sports or music, or personal characteristics like having first-generation status, being a member of a specific faith-based community, your major, etc. So if that was something I'm interested in, I would go ahead and put it as my other factor. 
Um, you want to also consider the percentage of students at the college that have a full need met. A full need met means that the college gave the student financial aid equal to the amount not covered by the family's estimated family contribution. This can come in the form of grants and loans or scholarships. Um, and if that was something I was interested in, I can go ahead and put that down. You should also consider residency. Is living on campus important to you? If so, it is worth looking into whether your colleges offer campus housing and if ca um, campus housing is guaranteed. Some colleges have specific housing requirements. For example, some may require that you live on campus um, during your first year or beyond. While many students dream of living on campus, um, housing is one of the major costs when it comes to colleges. So it is important to have at least one college option that is within driving distance from where you live to increase your affordable options. If you are open to living at home, have a real conversation with your parents about what they will expect from you as a college student. Um, living at home as a college student can be very different from living at home as a high school student. Another factor to consider is school size. Do you prefer small classes or are you okay with big lecture halls of 300 plus students? Consider how school size can affect your access to direct contact with professors or resources on campus. Um, there are other factors you can consider, but these are just a few we like to highlight. And so now we're going to go ahead and move on to step two. Step two is designed to help you identify what you want from college. We list um, these sets of goals and you can check off the one that best fits what you want. I do want to preface that it's okay to not know what your goal is. Um, it's okay to still figure out what you want to do after high school. Um, the remainder of step two allows you to reflect as to why you want to go to college, um, what your career goals are, um, what majors you might be interested in and why. And at the end, it gives you the opportunity to list down any questions you have about applying to college or going to college. Again, um, we encourage you to complete this as you develop your college list or before you begin to develop your college list. If you find yourself stuck filling this out, please do reach out to your CAP advisor. That is all I have for you today, so thank you for tuning in.